movies that are supposed to be romantic but are predatory instead? I just watched Walk the Line, and Johnny Cash comes off as such a creep. He's married with kids before getting on tour where he meets June Carter. He repeatedly comes on to June, which she declines, so then he starts sleeping with teenage fans implied. She refuses again so he throws a tantrum and destroys his dressing room and gets wasted. Popping pills and being a totally absent father. He gets a deal for his show and hires June making her financially dependent on him. His wife eventually, quite sensibly divorces him which sends him spiraling. June and her family drag him through withdrawal. They tour again and he asks her to marry him repeatedly until finally asking her in the middle of a concert duet in front of a crowd. She says yes. What else could she do in that position? I don't think the direction intended for this story to be so creepy. It's supposed to be seen as two lovers kept apart by the obstacles of life who finally can come together. But all I can see is a guy who can't take no for an answer. The Kissing Booth is like, the ultimate meant to be romantic but super creepy and abusive movie. And even worse, it's technically for teenagers. There's a 90s Disney Channel film called Blank Check that I watched as a kid then re-watched recently. The kid in it is about 12, and at the end basically has a conversation with the adult female main character about how if he was older they could be together. She then romantically kisses him on the lips. I was absolutely blown away that they hadn't cut that scene. My grandparents were at that concert my grandma always said she was sure June was going to say no because she looked so mad when he did it. In the notebook, Ryan Gosling's character asks out Rachel McAdams while she's on a date with another guy, then, when she refuses, glibly threatens suicide if she doesn't change her answer. In Overboard, a woman with amnesia is told by a man that she's his wife with documents, and he takes her home and has her do housework, so there's kidnapping and forgery. I forget whether they have sex, but it seems like that would be expected on her part, and if they do the sex is pretty clearly some category of rape. Not a movie but the music video for The Way You Make Me Feel by Michael Jackson used to terrify me as a small child. I was always like, leave her alone run, lady when he would rip open his shirt and show his scrawny chest I could almost hear the psycho bathroom scene music play. And I loved MJ as a kid lol. Love the parody walk hard in which the Johnny Cash stand-in becomes a bigamist by getting double married because he's too stupid to know you can't do that. Passengers is a legit horror movie. They are on a spaceship on a long trip. He wakes up from his sleeping pod which is real bad luck. Becomes obsessed with her based on nothing but her looks. Sabotages her pod to wake her up which might kill her by the way. Then lies to her about their circumstances. He's literally set her up in a situation where he's the only human company she'll have for her entire life. Side note she's got a better ticket than him so doing this gets him better food. Overboard is fucking terrifying. Woman falls overboard and loses her memory. Contractor working on her husband's boat takes her to the hospital and claims to be her husband so she can take care of his children. She protests and says he's not her husband. Doctor, nurse, and cop won't listen to her. Nurse says he's so nice just give him a chance. I had to stop watching because it was awful and I could see something like that happening IRL. Barefoot these guy essential kidnaps a woman from a mental institution to take to his brother's wedding so his family won't think he's a fuck up. They eventually fall in love and ride off into the sunset. Not only is it ableist but it's extremely creepy because she's portrayed as having the personality of a child. Why is that trope a thing? The whole Twilight saga these films books offer you anything from stalking and grooming to making the female lead suffer on and for everything related to the relationship. Also Fifty Shades of Grey which was just a bad fan fiction of Twilight, before they changed the names and settings. That element is present in a lot of things, although I'd like to hope it's less common now than it used to be. I was watching Garfield's Thanksgiving special with my kid it came out during the 1980s, when I was a kid now, as an adult, all I can see is what an absolute fucking creep John Arbuckle is how he should have just backed off of Liz the vet when she told him no in the first place. Manhattan, directed by Woody Allen's ID. 
Saturday Night Fever? Very rapey. Romance in movies is 99 unrealistic and generally terrible. The 2016 movie Passengers is utterly predatory. Right. He doesn't take no for an answer and they make it out to be romantic. Also the abusive behavior of Johnny is just an acceptable part of a normal heterosexual relationship that June lives with, it's her burden to bear. The champion shit show is seven brides for seven brothers. The titular brothers kidnap the brides. The question should be are there any movies about romance that are not stalkerish or based on an obviously toxic dynamic? It's probably harder to find a popular romance that doesn't have any problematic themes. As good as it gets. OCD old man gets obsessed with a young waitress, decides to pay for her son's medical care because she can't afford to. She then realizes he might be trying to manipulate her and tells him she will never sleep with him. He treats her like crap for the entire movie and gives her one compliment, then she falls in love with him. Gross. The Notebook No one talks about that scene in Sixteen Candles where the high school hunk passes his drunk girlfriend to the geek. The movie tries to make it less rapey by having his girlfriend I guess ex-girlfriend at this point being attracted to the geek the following morning after I presume he took advantage of her. Pretty much any rom-com. Gigi. She doesn't stand a chance between her aunts, Gaston, and Maurice Chevalier. I remember watching the movie and wondering why his wife's family objected to her portrayal. I thought she was pretty reasonable. She didn't want to be rich or famous or any of that. She wanted a faithful husband who stayed home with the kids. The new movie Elvis. All the scenes with Priscilla were disturbing, knowing she was 14 he was 24 when they met and he started grooming her. She was 16 when she began living with him. I was really disappointed to see their relationship is still romanticized. Gross. Call me by your name. A 24-year-old man engages in sexual activity with a minor. In some countries it's not illegal but still it seems pretty predatory to me. I get really creeped out every time I watch You've Got Mail. The way Tom Hanks' character knows what is going on for half the movie and manipulates Meg Ryan's character into falling in love with him. Interestingly I feel that another Meg Ryan rom-com, When Harry Met Sally is probably the least predatory. Most John Hughes sorry shrug hashtag hash. Especially 16 Candles. Watched Sleepless in Seattle yesterday. She totally stalks him. The notebook heard for years how romantic it is, how I must see it etc, but it is awful. The couple only even start dating because the guy threatens to kill himself unless she gives him a chance. Then there's cheating and a whole load of toxic behavior. Hated it. 16 Candles. Good guy romantic interest hands his unconscious, intoxicated girlfriend to a virgin good guy nerd to rape, just so he can get with the heroine. Blade Runner. Rachel tries to leave Deckard, but he bodily blocks her from escaping the room, then kisses and has sex with her. There's no way in fuck that was consensual. She was afraid and trying to leave and he forced her to stay and has sex with her, but it's played off like it's romantic. I was so disturbed by that. Technically not a movie but friends. OMG, Ross's relationship with Rachel was just textbook abuse. He was horrible to her, constantly undermining her, jealous and aggressive when she had male friends. Everything about it was awful. He immediately slept with another woman when they were on a break and gets more upset over the technicality of whether they were on a break than that he slept with another woman. Most parts of that show have aged poorly but I think their relationship is the worst. Rocky when he brings her to his apartment and won't let her leave and corners her. Creepy.